Two public access channels are fighting for dollars. They were cut out of Tampa's 2018 budget. Baden's Nine's Dahlia Dangerfield explains what this could mean for the community. We're here at Mission Tampa Bay, which is Girls Underwater Robot Camp. For decades, viewers have watched community programs like this one on the award-winning Tampa Bay Arts and Education Network. And the city of Tampa has helped pay for it. But this year, the network has been completely cut out of the city's budget, a $100,000 loss. It was, it, it, was, um, it was a bit of a shock. The news just as shocking for those at the Tampa Bay Community Network. That's the public access channel that allows people to produce their own shows and learn video techniques. They've been cut out of the city's budget, too. More than $200,000 gone. It hurts us very badly. It may mean layoffs, it may mean closure. Both network heads say they've reached out to the mayor's office after learning of the cuts. They say the mayor has refused to speak with them in person. When we reached out, his spokesperson sent us this statement. While we acknowledge the Tampa Bay Community Network and local public access television as an asset to our city, we already fund the city's own station which provides programming focused on highlighting the city's rich history and attractions. The spokesperson said the channels were warned of potential cuts and tough decisions had to be made. But those who run the two nonprofit channels say this was the wrong decision. I understand that the face of television is changing. However, um, this station operates in, a, in an efficiency level that surpasses what the city of Tampa uh, television operates in, even the county. The government channel is nothing like the people's channel. It doesn't train anybody. It doesn't give everyone in town their own voice. They say residents are in danger of permanently losing a valuable resource in this community. Now the fight is on to keep that voice alive. In Tampa, I'm Dahlia Dangerfield, Bay News 9.